What's up, everybody? Listen, we are back with another episode of Glad TV, and we got my brother, my 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 uncle, my grandfather, my my father in faith and the gospel, oh, back no. with us again, Bishop Benjamin R. W. L. Bosley. How you doing, man? Good to God see God you, bless son. Bless you, son. But don't be telling nobody you my spiritual son. You rebellious. I don't. Mm. I don't. I don't have bastards as <laughs> such. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if you hate the chastisement of God, you're a bastard and not a son. That's the book. I, 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 I understand. I can't claim you yet. Well, you know what? I, I respect your honesty. I do need to ask you a question, though, before we get started and before I introduce our guest. Uh, what does RWL stand for? Real Worship Leader. It's not an American name. It's something Where that. Where are I, you from? I'm from Georgia. That's America. Yeah, that what I'm saying is it wasn't birth given. It's something I acquired. All the fake ones out there screaming to the top of their lungs, calling themselves worshiping. Mm. Worship is every day. So I act idolatry when they added that extra 25 cents. I'm still saved. I hear you. So I'm a real worship leader. I hear you. I hear you. I see that in you. Why is your pants ripped? Mm -mm. It's just a style. Didn't you hear what I said about that? I don't remember. You had asked me about wearing, you said it's just a style. Sin is just a way of life now, you gonna do that? But I don't think. See, I don't, you I, and Pastor Jason Nelson gotta talk to me. Rip, rip jeans is not a problem. That's it, who's this? <laughs> well, let's, let's get into the show. Yeah. We have a good friend of ours here. His name is Big Drew, what's, what's going on, What's man? happening, bro? How you it's doing? It's good to see you, How you man. doing, brother Drew? So How you what, doing, is, what does big stand for? Um, big, like, like I'm the only person on this side of the stage, because if y'all was on my side, we'd probably break it. It's literal. Yeah. My God. That's but right. it's also big in talent. Uh, yeah. I'll give you a little. Oh, your talent. Yeah, yeah. He used to be a stand-up comedian, mm -hmm. opened up for some of the comedians you know today. Um, and now he's. Like two of them. He, oh, God. out of nowhere. Uh-huh. He can sing yes. to the point where now he's a worship pastor. Talk about transition. Worship pastor? Worship pastor. It, okay. What is that? It's a pastor that worships, I guess. Just like a real worship leader yeah. in Dollar Tree, yeah. right? Uh-huh. Well, I'm not mad at it's, that. It's just a worship leader, and that's kind of the new vernacular that they use. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the new church, Bishop. Yeah, in the new church. Well, I can tell you a real pastor. See, you say start on comedy. Mm -hmm. Most comedians are anointed to preach. Mm -hmm. Explain. They are. They come up there and supposed to make you laugh. Most of them make you think. True. You Good do that ones. Eddie Griffin, they end up in jail. When you fight the anointing, you end up in places you don't want to be. You just I need agree. to get saved and start a church like you. Amen. God bless you. You're a pastor that? that worship. I ain't starting no church, though. But. No, we, they don't don't waste your time. No. God's on his way back. Well, I want to start a new segment on this show and just uh, talk about some viral moments that has happened recently in uh, social media or current oh, events. Okay. Um, I know we found out that you're a big movie fan and you like certain movies. Um, yeah, I like movies. And I know you like certain actors uh -huh. or actresses. Um, Jada Pekin Smith, Jada Peckett, J Jada, Jada Pekin. Pinkett. Shakur. Jada Shakur yes. Smith. Oh, son, you're wrong for that. Yeah. That was very good, though. Well, well, let's get into it. Jada. M Mrs. Smith, right? Yes. Can we, mm -hmm. can we do that? I think Maybe. she still is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, what do you feel about the situation? I would love to hear your thoughts on the fact that the matter is she has a book out, and um, they, she said her and her husband wasn't together. For That's quite she some said. time. Yeah, huh? she, she led us to believe They were it. separated. Separated. 16 years, I think. 16. That's what she said. Something like that. The 16? God. 16. I know it wasn't one. It wasn't one, but it does. The number changes a lot. Yes. What do I think about it? That's what I asked you. I didn't think about nothing. She keep opening her mouth, making me think. It's like she want me to know about her life. There's too many people going to hell for me to care about the Smith family. I just can't. My blood pressure is already high with my own house. And yet I turn on the news wanting to see the weather and she's being interviewed yet again. What the, you know. Yet. 
again. That's that's really true. And I'm I'm gonna come to you about this. How uh, do we don't we don't want to know? Sorry. Oh God. I'm going to bring my question over to you because yeah, you know you got the stuff going on in Israel, but then it's like Jada Pekin took the whole attention of the world. Did, did it go to the well? It did go to the world because all type of markets were talking about it. So. I don't know, man. I, th I think it's to me. I'm saying I'm with Bishop. Like I ain't worried about that. Yeah. That stuff is stupid. Um, I hope my wife ain't never gonna be out just running her mouth and writing books and doing stuff like that. I feel like I'm a man enough in my house where I can handle that type of thing. And if we're gonna be separated, let's just be separated. We're not gonna play all the games. You're sleeping with my son's friends and all of this stuff, and you're making me go on national TV, making a fool out of me. We ain't gonna do all that. If we're gonna get divorced, we're gonna get divorced. Let's get it over with. Yeah, if you write a book, you write you a book. Yeah, I could. That's all right. What would the book be called? It'll be a coloring book. You got to explain that one. To what? Me. <laughs> you got to explain a color. I ain't got an explanation. <laughs> the spirit told me to say that. <laughs> well, I mean, so in the, it, so a coloring book meaning it, it's it, what's understood don't need to be explained. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's that's what you mean. It's like it's easy. I feel you. That was deep. Paul. <laughs> my, yes. Here we go again with that. If, I mean, that was a pauseable if moment. If my wife wrote a book about me, talking mm -hmm. about her side of the story. Mm -hmm. My book would be called The Truth. The Truth. The Truth. The Truth. So it's her side. Versus the truth. Versus the truth. Mm. What about your side? I'm telling the truth. What would her book be called? A lie. <laughs> <laughs> I tell on myself, I don't hide nothing. I will not. If I go to hell, I keep telling y'all, I'm not going for lying. Uh, it's not, that's way better ways to go to hell than lying. Now your wife is Mother Charlene. I never. I took her down from the mother's boy. You took her down, Sister Charlene. Sister Charlene. Sister Charlene. Now you know, uh, she might not have wrote a book, mm -hmm. but I heard she did read, write a letter. Yeah. And they said in the letter she was talking, confessing to giving peppermints to Deacon Lester. Oh well, Deacon Lester. You know I'm what? At your church international. I hope Charlene didn't do that. Deacon, Deacon Lester. Lester got diabetes. Mm -hmm. And she gave him peppermint. Lord they, Jesus. So that was attempted murder. It might have been. I don't know what she do when I'm not around. I just hope live right. Was it the hard peppermints or the soft ones that you? Uh, the used? hard ones. So she so she expected him to work. Yeah. To die. Jesus, Charlene. Well, I'm still preaching holiness. Amen. What would Charlene's book be? How to get away with murder? <laughs> <laughs> if he die, let him die. <laughs> If she get away with it. Y'all not separated though. No, I don't know. Son, this was years ago. <laughs> Charlene is in my bed now. With waiting for Lester. Me, waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> A little bowl of peppermints half sucked. Oh. Lick. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. <laughs> so sorry. Resist the devil and he will flee. Amen. Well, Bishop. You have a segment that is amazing. It is. It's amazing. It's uh, what disciple would you be with yes. a couple of questions? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Well, you're not one of them. You've never asked me the question. No, I know what not to. Um, son. Yes, sir. So, um, you know, psychiatrists do these things as personality quizzes. Uh -huh. They used to do that with me back in college. They, they made me take a test to see what profession I should take. It was a lie. They told me to be a funeral director. I just you make a good funeral director. Uh, mm -hmm. No, I can't put people in heaven that's going to hell. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not going to let you lie on the obituary. I think that's why you would make a good one. Some would differ. So um, I'm going to ask you a series of questions. We're going to find out what disciple you would be. All right. It's almost like save zodiac. Disciples. Uh huh. So I'm going to ask you three questions. Let me know what you are. So, when Jesus walked on water, what would you have done if you saw that? I probably just watched. Just watched? Mm -hmm. Now that's good. That tells me a lot about you. Mm -hmm. Okay, when Jesus fed the 5,000 with the bread and the fish, mm -hmm. what did you eat first? Fish. Mm. Mm hmm. So you wasn't fasting? No. Okay. It says a lot about your spirituality. Well, I ain't got to fast while he's here. 
you know, as a disciple. And he he's disciple Big mm -hmm. Drew. That's right. So he's you know how he trying to throw me off. You got yeah. mouthy like a little Peter. Word. That was a little word. Yeah, right you there. talk back like uh -huh. Peter, but I, you're not Peter yet. Uh -uh. Because Peter got off the boat. Mm -hmm. You just watched. I just watched. So you're not Peter. That's right. Last question. Mm -hmm. When Jesus turned the water into wine, did you drink some? I sipped it. You got to know if it's real. He's John the Baptist. So why, 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 why would he be John? He's the not one of the 12. He's not one of the 12. No. What makes him? Do me, pause. Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. married the mother of Jesus. Yeah. Which one are you taking the chilies? Mary Mag. Cheesecake. You're man. Judas. Why am I Judas? Mary Mag need love too. Not until she get them seven demons cast out like Jesus did. Mm. Big Drew. Uh huh. Speaking about wives, and we talked about uh, Bishop's wife, uh, mm -hmm. Charlene. Don't keep, stop talking sister. about my wife. Sister Charlene. Sister Charlene. She's been sat down. Um, would you be okay if your wife uh, ascribed to the, the list that's going around on first dates? Like, what, your first date, what'd you do? Did you follow the list? that's going around? No, not not at all. Actually, I've always had a list of my own that before this all went viral, um, I got cussed out by a whole lot of women because I put up a list from Cheesecake Factory and I had things highlighted that my date could get. And I, this is before I got married. But that's the way I looked at it. You know, we're going to go on a budget because this is our first date. I'm just trying to get to know you, not spend my bank. Well, some people say, you know, spending your bank now is how you get to know a woman. Yeah, that's man. why I'm glad I'm not part of this generation of people because I just want to sit and talk to you and see if you're gonna be worthy for me to be spending my money on. That's me though. What are some of the things you highlighted in the list at the Cheesecake Factory? Um, the free yeah. bread? The free bread, no, you don't have to highlight that. You know it's coming with that. But appetizers, anything $15 and under, it's fine with me. You can get a good meal for $15. I think you can. And back then, yeah. 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 You, you know. ever been to Cheesecake Factory? Yeah, it's, it's overwhelming. It, it's overwhelming. It is. The menu is, is it's the is, size the, of Revelation. It is. It like definitely trying to, is. It's too much. I'm hungry. That most of the time when I go there, I just eat bread and leave. Would you say you need to make your calling and election sure at the Cheesecake Factory? They, they need See, to write my Bible, mm -hmm. right? I would most likely say they need to write the vision and make it plain. Mm. That's cheese true. or hamburger, fries on the side. That's really basic. How much, how much would you spend on a first date with a mm -hmm. woman that you would deem worthy of courtship? I'll speak your language. Somebody you're courting. How much would I the spend? first time, yeah. I would spend about. 10 shillings? I would spend first and second service, prayer night. If she's singing, I want to see a choir rehearsal. Mm. And, and definitely Bible study before we go anywhere. Okay. That's your list. That's what I would spend. <laughs> you know what? I can't even be mad at that. Seems like you you you're looking you for that good thing. You got that good thing. Yeah. Uh, God bless you, son. That's Amen. hard to find. He's good in this day and time. What was that? They call it quickening. But you because I'm it big, quickening? it ain't it ain't fast. Really. I, I I I thought he had a hiccup for a second. Mm, that's indigestion. It was a spirit. It was a spirit. A spirit. Where's your pastor? Crazy. How long you been saved? Ah, that's a good question. Thank you, Bishop. I appreciate that. One day I'll ask you. So, Big Drew, how long you been uh, saved? Or as Bishop would say, how long you, has it been since you met Christ? Well, you know what? I met him at a young age. Uh, my mom used to take me to church um, often. Um, but when I became a teenager and I got old enough to do my own thing, I went and did my own thing. Uh, but it's probably been about 14 years as an adult that I've been saved and faithful to my God. Nice. I've been saved for, I want to say 12 years. Okay. Roughly 12 years. And uh, it's been the best thing that has ever happened. Saved from what? Saved from, from, from the devil, from hell. Jesus mm. saved me. Bishop. Mm. But 
you talking about? Yeah, he died for everybody. That's true. How long you been walking with him? You know, that's a great question. I was seeing some of your videos, and I must say, I don't trust you, but you you've been taught something. Yeah. I appreciate. I have to be like one of these people. Okay, nobody do some of the things you say and not be with God. Mm. Thank you. But you know, Jesus had 12 and one was the devil. So mm. I'm, I'm watching you. I see some comments trying to eat your behind up though. That's you know, a good thing to talk about. Like, we can talk about some of the comments in these videos. Yeah, let's mm -hmm. talk about them. We can talk about them. Um, one of which is um, they think I'm a little too mean with you. Like I, I'm a little too harsh. I ain't never been hurt. Well, I know your feelings aren't hurt, but we, you know, we live in, and used to be a stand-up comedian, we're living in a definitely um, very sensitive, sensitive time. time. Oh, they How sensitive. do you feel about this? I, I don't like it. Um, it's everywhere. The kids, you, you see the kids playing sports, everybody get a medal, everybody's a winner, nobody's a loser. Somebody got to lose. Um, as a comedian, I think that's probably the last occupation where you have some freedom of speech. As a comedian, you get to say things that your audience would like to say, but they know they can't say it. So I could talk about my boss on the stage right. you and say what I would say to my boss. You can't say what you would say to your boss or you can't say it to your boss. You get what I mean? Yeah. But I can do those things. I could call people names. I could roast people that you couldn't roast or say nothing to from the stage. I could talk about topics. But now we're seeing where people that talked about topics 10, 20 years ago Right, coming back. Are being canceled yep. now for what they said 10, 20 years ago. I see that. And that's crazy to me. Yeah, you know what makes it worse? Is that it shifts, it's still in comedy, but now it shifts also into the church. Because mm. oh, you can't even tell the truth. Because what you say oh, last time, you said the truth is offensive to anybody living a lie. That's right. That's right. Talk a little bit about I that. I still tell the truth. See, I don't care. I know if they lock me up, that somebody in jail need to know the truth. Mm. Just give me my mashed potatoes and bread. And leave me out your bike. Don't mess with me in jail. God got me. Bishop, do you eat pork? I eat anything that used to be alive. Okay. I don't have no I'm not a five percenter. Wait, wait, wait. And wait. I'm not. I'm not. Wait. I'm not one of Farrakhan's boys. Bishop, if boys. I may, if I may, if I may, Bishop, you said you eat anything that used to be alive. Yes. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm being facetious. But I mean, I eat, I eat the pig, I eat the beef, I eat the cornbread, mm. I eat all that. Sugar on grits or salt? So I grew up with shrimp on that. Oh. So if you push, okay, but that wasn't the question. No. So, so, so if you put sugar on grits or paper or plastic, huh? Uh, chicken or beef, it's just a regular question. Sugar on grits? Yeah, I don't like the tone. I, I see why they're coming at you. You think I'm old and surly and dumb. I mm. just want you to answer the question as it's given. I said sugar on grits uh, or, or salt. You said put shrimp on it. Yeah, I said, I, no, I said I grew up. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you said put shrimp on it. Just answer the question, Bishop, please. Sugar or salt? This is deep. This, this ain't This gonna deep. tell us what disciple you are. Yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't test me. Amen. Son, I used to like you, but you tested me. You don't test me. So let me tell you something. You're talking about deep. I'm about to put you down deep. How about that? Pause. Let me. Pause. <laughs> put me down deep is crazy. Hey, yo. Just. What does your mama make you in the morning? Grits or cereal? Because clearly you still live with her. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. But Bishop, sugar or salt? On your grits. Jesus. Jesus would use salt. I don't think there was That's glucose a good back then. You can get some bad comments again because there's a lot of sugar lovers out there. Talk about it, big There's dude. a lot of people out here that like they grits with sugar. Now, I don't know what's wrong with them, but. It need to be salt. That's my thing. I, I kind of figured that's what you was talking about when you said shrimp had to be with salt unless you put sugar on top of your shrimp and grits. And then, yeah, you 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 out the Bible. You ain't even the disciple if you're doing that. No, nah, shrimp and grits. Shrimp with the gravy and the grits and all that. Mm -hmm. But I do it. But some of these people are crazy. But wait, 
the andouille. Andouille. You know, with the roux, I mean. The, you know, the, roux, the, the sausage. Yes. Mm. The andouille. That sounds like tongues. Almost. Hallelujah, andouille. I can interpret that. Hey! He I'm just he it. just did a quick. You know, okay. you remind me of them churches that lost their mind with all this tongue in. Let me tell you something. I didn't see. You know where that mess started? I'm gonna tell you where it started. You're not ready for this revelation. I'm come on, ready. come on. Disney, oh. Malika be the Villica be the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. That's what put it together. What do you got? Tongues. Nowadays, Cinderella was the first tongue speaker. Oh. Let's do something like a spitfire, but funny and biblical type of thing. Uh, I'm gonna ask one question and I want your answer and why, you know, um, real quick. What are some books in the Bible that when somebody says it, it just makes you laugh? Mine is Deuteronomy. What? Deuteronomy. Every Say time somebody says Deuteronomy, it's just funny to me. Deuteronomy. What book is that? It's one the next is Mel Jess Adler's number two. Four. Jess Adler's number two. Deuteronomy. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? It depends on if you got a lisp or not. That's true. A lot of pastors got lisps. Yeah. And I've yet to see one preach out of first or second Thessalonians. <laughs> That's a funny one. Thessalonians. Yeah. It doesn't make me laugh, but I'm irritated when they say Ecclesiastes. <laughs> That's a funny one to <laughs> What about what about Philomon? Philomon. Philomon. That's what they say. That's how they be saying Philomon. It. Yeah. You gotta use the the phone Bible and let it read to you so you get the names of these um books. True. They not saved saying Philomon. Turn to Philomon. Mm hmm mm -hmm. Or the book of Acts. Oh, it's the Acts of the Apostles. That's a powerful book, though. The bitch, you felt, you felt the power come book. out of bitch. What's your you favorite that? verse in Acts? And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What about, okay, what about, what are, you, what are some very depressing Bible stories that a lot of people might get wrong, uh, but, but it really, like, catches them off guard? They don't like them. Yeah, well, who you want to go first? Uh -huh. Been in this a long time. I got plenty. Well, you go first then, Bishop. I came across a story in the Old Testament. I believe it's in Judges. Judges is rough. Mm -hmm. Judges is rough. Mm -hmm. Somebody got overzealous and said, God, if you help me in this particular situation, first thing that come up my house, I'm going to offer it as a burnt offering to you. Mm. He went home, and the first person that walked out with his daughter. Mm. And he told her she wept and she cried before she burned because he did kill her. Lord. And she was concerned because she said, I'm going to, to weep because I'm, I'm going to die a virgin. That's in the book. Mm. That's depressing. It is. How about oh, you? On something God didn't even tell him to do. Like some of you pastors open in churches. Uh oh. Go ahead. Son. That's a whole What's other subject, Bishop. I would say Job. Mm -hmm. I, I would say Job. He lost his children. Yeah, he did. He lost everything. Lost his his riches. Everything that that man had, he lost it. A couple of days. Man. Yeah, in a couple of days. Mm -hmm. And to continue to deal with loss mm -hmm. as you read through the story, yes. even almost losing his friends, mm -hmm. nobody to count on, and your wife telling you to curse God and die. That's what she said. She said that. She did. And I, I would have told God, when we were talking, because him and God had a few conversations, I would say, God, why wouldn't you have just taken her mm. and left me my kids and my livestock and all that good stuff? Because she want me to die. No. But that's a depressing story to me. We, we know should. that he get everything back and all of that, and that's beautiful. But I mean, even with getting everything back, don't you just miss your first set? Yeah, yeah. You know, Quick your, don't you miss your first wife? I did have the first wife. I'm oh. the husband of one wife. I wouldn't be a bishop. That's true. I would be demoted to a pastor or an elder. I, I'm a bishop. Question. Wait one second. I want to say something to that, if I can. Have the floor. God just spoke to me. Uh huh. Let me hear. He what said, said, 
Because <laughs> you said, why wouldn't he take the wife? Well, mm -hmm. listen, God instituted marriage. Come on. And he said that two shall be one. Okay. okay. He told the devil, do anything, but don't take his life. Mm -hmm. She is his life. Oh. They the same. That's good. That's why she couldn't go. Job's wife was the, the subconscious of Job. Mm. He wanted to curse God. So she did it for him. That's good. Just like Adam wanted to eat that fruit. Mm -hmm. And Eve took a bite first. Mm -hmm. Can't get mad at your wife. She do what you always want to do. Wow. So, Bishop, do you preach in the church? No, I've been kicked out. I have to, I have to, like I have to do glad TV. <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor and a privilege to have you here. You are a worthless physician. <laughs> I'm not going to call you names. Let that I sit. could. I could cut you deep. Cut I could get on you. Cut me. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do it. I'm Wisdom. Gonna, I'm going to be saved. Try. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All I want is a well done. And I kind of want it's not for well We can stay. Get this man something. <laughs> I can't wait to ask this question. Mm -hmm. This is so stupid. <clears throat> Bishop, mm, Yes. what came first, the chicken or the egg? Next question, Tamika. Ooh, Jesus. Bishop, Drew. Mm -hmm. It's been it's been an honor having you guys here. Um, it's been something. I kind of want to go around. Okay. And let, and like go around. Wait, 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 wait. Is that a fat drip? Mm. You want to go around and you point at me? Son, we couldn't get around. Um, I want to go around. We each say a word that we think is funny or it sounds funny. And keep going. To, but you can't think. You got to just go around and say a word. Um, just something dumb. <laughs> so hurt. Why you don't like having fun? Do, well, actually, what do you do for fun? It's a great question. Well, you want me to be honest? I don't want to hear nothing about revivals. Yeah, because the, the young saved people want to know. Yeah. You know what? Because half your members, let's, they gone. I, I don't care about all You've that. eulogized your whole oh, they church. Didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't There's they probably went, three left. Uh, they, good three. They went over there. Deacon Lester. Deacon Lester. He definitely ain't going nowhere until no. Shirley. Deacon Lester, yeah. He's faithful for some reason. He really I is. I went to a funeral mm -hmm. down in Alabama, and there were no young people in the church. Whole choir, everybody had to be in their 90s. Somebody had to be like 102, 104. And they got up there, and they sung a song in front of that casket. And they said, we gon' die next, we gon' die soon. When Jesus come and sweep us up in heaven's broom. That's what they say. You know, you know us black folks be singing terrible stuff. Back in my day, they sang a song like, how'd it go? How'd it go? It was, um. Oh, Lord. Hmm. Jesus. You got the Holy Ghost? It ain't well, coming back. I would say back. it brings it back to your remembrance. Mm-hmm. Oh, the there you go. <laughs> See how God works? <laughs> he never fails. <laughs> they sing this song. It was one by one. Mm-hmm. One by one. God is taking us away. See? We, we didn't like being here. No. We were heaven-centered, heaven-focused. What's your word, son? Facetious. Clueless. <laughs> Independent. Dumb. Oh. Sensitive. Why you say it's so sensitive? That was, that was so talk show hostish. Sensitive. Thank you. You're welcome. Opinionated. Independent. Didn't I say that? Did you? Yeah. Opinionated. I said that too. No, you didn't. I just did. <sighs> Talented. Fearless. What are some, what are some funny things you've seen in church, uh, as pastoring and now as being a, a, a worship pastor? Yeah, well, as a worship pastor, 
Man, church crazy. Um, being in the charismatic church, yeah. Um, I used to be one of the catchers. So you know, the that's what the, the catchers. Yes, the catchers. The Holy Ghost catchers. Yeah, you know, so when somebody you know, catch getting, the Holy Ghost, you catch the people that that the Holy right. Ghost fall on. That's right. So when right, they laying right, hands right. on people and yeah. they falling out at the at the altar, you know, they got to have somebody for insurance purposes. Now you got to have somebody behind them yeah. so you don't get sued by the member, right? And there was this one lady. And you, uh, she started running around the church, and she happened to be bigger she, than you. Yeah, she's about my size, a little bit bigger, right? And so she was going crazy, and they was catching. So I was trying to go over there to catch her, and as soon as she started going crazy, her shirt went up, no, and her pants fell down. Oh Lord, oh Lord! And I turned back around. That's right. And I told them afterwards, I said I was willing to be fired as a catcher to not have to see the rest of what was going to happen. <laughs> I hear you. And that probably, that was funny and traumatic at the same Blessed time. Blessed are them that have not seen. Yes, because it's something you can't unsee. <laughs> and believe. You can't That's unsee right. some things. All right, Thomas. <laughs> I guess he's That's Thomas. Rough. That's rough. I, Jesus, out of order. She's, what she, about you? She, After I, pastoring for six Sixty years? Yeah, I wouldn't say yes, sir. I wouldn't say it was funny. It was embarrassing. Mm. Um, but I did laugh after a couple of years. I had to. Um, we were zealous mm -hmm. back in them days. Yeah. And we had people tarrying for the Holy Ghost. It's back when you come to the altar and, and wait on God. Yeah. And uh, this brother, I'll never forget it. Mm -hmm. He got up there and got to shaking. Mm. And the altar workers just full of joy. Mm. Said, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Says, have your way, God, have your way. Mm -hmm. And they believed that he was being filled with the Holy Ghost. And come to find out the brother had Parkinson's. No. And discernment is necessary. It is. Because um, I don't think he's saved today, <laughs> but he's still shaking. Well, this has been an uh, episode to remember. Um, Bishop, you are a great person. You're an anointed man of God. You are the youngest old person I've ever met. Well, extremely, extremely um, knowledgeable. You are a faithful man of God, a faithful husband. You're even faithful when others are not faithful. Mm. Um, we're, pray we're yet praying for Sister Shirley that she is restored back to mothership or motherhood. Keep her lifted up. I will keep her lifted up uh, and, and relieve Deacon Lester uh, from lifting and uh, mm. we're yet praying. What did you say? Bishop, we're yet praying. Lester not lifted nothing. Mm. Not tonight. But we yet praying. We thank God for for you coming out. We thank God for. I've been tried every episode of this show. We we thank God for Big Drew. Thank you for having. Me. Yeah, thank God for Big Drew. Amen. Anything else? Uh, you got a uh, gospel karaoke. No, no CCM. No. <laughs> you would have thought that happened by now. There's gonna be some on CCM. Some CCM. Gonna We're gonna, gonna find CCM. out who really knows the words to these songs. That's right. Is the Holy Ghost allowed? The Holy Ghost is allowed to have his way. That's a lot of chicken and grease he got to fight through to get there. That's okay. He done it before. Y'all didn't have church in there? We going to have it. Oh, God. You know, Jesus taught them after he fed them. You should come. I would love that. Yeah, we give you free chicken dinner. What song would you use, would you want to sing for the karaoke? Oh, sinner, you can't hide. Oh, sinner, you can't I, oh, the light doesn't come. So, it's a solo. Took my <laughs> zeal away. <laughs> well, that has been another episode of Glad TV. I don't think Bishop was glad to be here at all, but bless God. I'm here out of obligation. Mm. Well, Till you, you come to the cross and bleed out. My job is not done. Jesus taking you back in blood. <laughs> so it sounds like, sound like the man just threatened my life. But we love him anyway. That's the Christian thing to do. Amen. Oh, Christian. Be saved.
I need you to like, share, subscribe, comment your favorite part of this video in the comment section, and please keep Charlene lifted so please. we can relieve Lester. Y'all be blessed. Amen.